Benachi right there featuring Guardian Angel Anajua. Your neighbor, your friend, your brother, your sister, even your spouse may not know, but Anajua. And he's very much able to sort you out. Time now for our short devotion. Uh, this is Hope FM, where you listen and live. Unasikiza afternoon switch with uh, God's boy, David King. Karibu sana, if you're just tuning, tuning in, uh, afternoon switch in a happen every weekday from 1 p.m. all the way to 4 in the p.m. Now, in relation to our discussion today, about the healing of the heart. Uh, we are live on Facebook, on YouTube, and on X at Hope FM Live. Team Live kama kawa, mniambie kama I'm audible, kama tuna songa vipoa, all right? Let me read a scripture from the book of Psalm 147 verse 3. Psalm 147 verse 3. Ambayo inasema, He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. Now, from scripture, we see several kinds of hearts. Some are types of hearts, if I could say that. Kuna a broken heart, you know, kuna a wounded spirit, kuna a joyful heart, you know, a rejoicing heart. And it's normal uh, to experience all of this because life is in seasons. There is a, in the book of Ecclesiastes says, there is a time to weep. There is a time to be happy. There is a time to be born. There is a time to die. Life is segmented in seasons. Kwa hivo, kuna time uneza kwa unalia na kuna time, kuna a lot of joy in your heart. Na inakubalika sana because life is segmented into seasons. However, uh, especially in the conversation that we are having today, quite a number of people don't know how to deal with a broken heart. I'm a wounded spirit. Remember, scripture in the book of Proverbs in Asema, a, a wounded spirit who can bear, right? Why? Because uh, when your spirit is wounded, your inner man is wounded, yende wanafa kupawa the rest of you. So kama ya ko down, it is quite hard for you now to rise in any other way. Santi sana morin joki anasema tukosawa. Na look is looking. Santi sana joki mungu anasaidia. Right? <laughs> now, Today, as we talk about the healing of the heart, let me start by challenging all of us that you might be a believer who's really interested in being used of God and uh, unataka ku, you know, do great things for God, probably. Uh, secondly, you might be a believer who, okay, I'm quite interested sana in ministry works or anything, but you just love the Lord and you want to grow your life, you want to grow your destiny. And all of that, is very, very, very important. However, that cannot happen if your heart is not okay. The first uh, example, rather point that I started off with, yeah, a believer that wants to be used of God. Uh, God is it to me, I'm to mugonjwa, if I could say that. The book of uh, Psalm 147 verse 3, Enye he heals the broken in heart. If it's the word healing being used there, it has to mean that your heart is sick. So, uh, God is in here kwa ward, if, we, if you can, let me paint that picture. Uko hospitali kwa ward, umelala kwa the hospital bed. Nikuje, nikutoe, nikuambia kuja tuende mjengo. It's, it's quite hard. And in the same manner, unapata most of us want to do exploits in our lives for God, for the kingdom, for our families. But we are hurting, we are, you know, sick in our hearts. And uh, that cannot happen. Hakuna mtu atakuja atoe mgonjwa kwa kitanda ya hospitali. Amuambia kuja ukalime. It's the same also with God. God will not pick you, you know, from hospital, uh, quote unquote, from a spiritual hospital. Anona enye, your heart is sick. And then, and then he'll use you for mighty works. Remember, even your perspective of God himself will be skewed, will be messed up with if your heart is, you know, sick, you know. And he binds up their wounds. Now, there are quite a number of believers that are functioning with wounds that have not been, you know, uh, taken care of. Vidonda uh, jasafishwa. So you find that ukikuwa ruzo tu hivi kidogo na mtu, kina umana kwa yo ministry, kina umana pale home, eh, kina umana pale in your family, in your relationships, at your workplace. Kumbe, there are a lot of wounds, Right? We should trust God. The book of Jeremiah says we should trust God to heal, to heal us, right? To heal our hearts and to bind up every wound. So today, 
I just want to encourage each and every one of us, uh, like someone mentioned on call, uh, that I think it was Mama Kevo, just take yourself to God. Na muambie, uh, I need the healing of my heart. It may be that it wasn't really even a, a you know, a heartbreak, a character development. It could be that you you ventured out into some business, na kika umana big time, na ukapoteza lots of money, and your heart you are wounded in your heart and actually it may go past being wounded you are sick in your heart so if someone comes with a proposition a business proposition nataka to invest up some a couple of millions to fanya hii na hii because of you know the donors are the heart you cannot and that stops you from rising again probably you tried to raise the first bone na akakuwa akago wayward akakuwa mkora kwa mtaa now you are very worried about the second born because uliumia moyo sana you are a believer umejipeana to the things of god you pray you fast and this one never turned out right so right now you are very worried about the second born yeah probably you tried out relationship now that we are talking about it and ikikaumana sana na ukanyoroshwa character development ikafanyika kama some story i saw on tiktok ya yeah, ilikuwa ina trend hapo eh, riza tiza if i if i yeah if i remember correctly riza tiza that alikuwa na mtu a perpetual liar this one was actually psychological hey it was troublesome and ukajipata in such situation that ulidhani huyu mtu ni mzuri ni mtu ameokoka anampenda bwana only for you to learn that akona familia mzima samo yana huko shinyalu you know and you are heartbroken and now because of a sick heart you cannot function anymore yeah? and you're trusting god to do great and mighty things in your life but they cannot happen because you are very sick today we want to trust god to heal our hearts inje unaweza kwa umepiga luku safi sana you know ka makeup kazuri umenyoa kama david king unakaa tu poa unaendelea na job but you are you are a functioning sick, sick person right you are a functioning you know a minister of the word you are a functioning a worshipper but you are very sick let us trust god to heal our hearts scripture has said in the book of psalm 147 that he heals our hearts and binds up our wounds you know unaweza kuata uli heal heal lakini kidonda iko pale haijai safishwa uh, if 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 nilikatwa mkono for example na nifunge tu nisi take care of that wound after a while it will make me even more sick naweza kuwa infected the whole army ibaki hata wanasema ikatwe ikwe amputated just because i never took care of a wound so today i want to encourage us especially in the area of our relationships or even ministry or even business whatever it is probably hata ni mambo ya job ulikuwa na employer alikuharass you know and they really hurt you so even in your next workplace you have you know a wounded heart you cannot function to the to the fullest fullest of your potential because kiliumana bana today i want us to pray that god will heal our hearts you cannot function when you are sick unaweza ka you are functioning lakini really uh, you will not get to the you know the very peak of what you what you carry you will not get to your divine boundaries if you are sick in your heart if you have wounds in your life so at this moment allow me to pray for anyone that is out there and uh, you know you are sick in your heart or in your soul your soul has been heart broken has been broken to the extent that you uh, have a lot of wounds so unapatata ku step into another relationship which could be now the one that god has ordained for you is very hard because when you mgonjwa you are actually very afraid kwa sababu unakumbuka what happened another time kumbe ni kidonda fulani haijasafishwa so you are still very sick in your heart so even a miracle will pass you by na ukose ku embrace all right we'll be praying for all of us that god will heal us and then also uh, kuna wale wenye you'll continue being sick until you go to the healer who is jesus where that you have not given your life to christ make this prayer after me and you'll be born again and then after one song or two takuja tuombe na 
all of us that are heartbroken and hurting and carrying a lot of wounds and bitterness. Remember bitterness in the book of Hebrews, in a same, that root of bitterness, it can creep up actually in a ministry or in a people or among the brethren. Uh, scripture in a same, actually it defiles, you know. So, unajipata tu unaingia kwa kwa other forms of vices because tu ya that root in it was bitterness na kumbe ni juu au kupona okay if you are out there and you'd love to give your life to Christ kindly make this prayer after me and you shall be born again declare heavenly father this evening i accept that i am a sinner and that i am in need of your mercy forgive me of my sin cleanse me from all unrighteousness i surrender my life to you make it whole heal me deliver me from every form of bondage i declare with my mouth that i am born again in jesus name amen and amen if you made that prayer kindly ingia pale kwa whatsapp 0717400555 uniandikie your details ama on text 20933 now you are born again when i come back I shall be making a prayer for all of us that god would heal our hearts up on hope fm where you listen and live listen, listen and live on 93.3 fm in nairobi 93.3